Hey guys, we're on our way to Capitol Hill. There's a report of a man with a bomb or a detonator or something. Uh, we're gonna go up and try to film it. We're making our way up to the U.S. Capitol. Lots of sirens responding from all over the city. I hear a group coming from over on Pennsylvania Avenue. We'll see how close we can get before we get uh, stopped by the police. These are uh, special operations units, DC police. And we have over here the Homeland Security Police, which is the Federal Protective Service. Back there is the Metro, the, the bus system. They had to reroute all of their buses. And then DC cops out here. That's an FBI vehicle. Media folks have nothing more than an iPhone. And these are foreign correspondents for other countries, media sites, and they just use an iPhone to file their reports. Oh. A couple new fire trucks. EMS supervisor. Italian chief. Donut truck. That is the fireman. It's getting real now. So I can try. Here's the thing for me to get closer, I literally have to walk all the way over to the Senate side, all the way back behind the Supreme Court, on all the way back. We're talking a distance of about two miles. It would take me about a half hour to 40 minutes to get closer than I am right now. I can't go this way. This way, I believe, is cut off. There's no way to cross. The police have blocked the roads over there. I can't get down around the Capitol on that direction, which is what I tried to do earlier on the scooter. But this seems to be a pretty good location. I think the fire trucks are all here. If you haven't seen those, they're all up there. So we're just gonna walk uh, until some cop yells at us. And then when they yell at us, then we'll say, oh, sorry, I didn't know. I'm just a tourist. So guys, this is First and D Street Southeast. And by all accounts, the actual vehicle is just up there about three blocks. But there's construction blocks my view of it from this location. But uh, he's somewhere up there, Library of Congress. This whole area has been evacuated. It's been pretty quiet. Everything on there. That's the Republican National Committee. That's where the bomb was found on January 6th. Uh, no incident. No idea if this is related. By the way, that's also the Capitol South subway station. And the subway is now closed. No one is allowed. So I'm back behind the Library of Congress now. The building in question is down behind these trees. But he's on the other side facing the Capitol. So that's the main Library of Congress building. 
according to the news, the suspect has just surrendered to the police, so I'm at Rockland's getting a barbecue. Mm. Barbecue. Falling apart, barbecue.